So you will learn how to buy a property from start to finish. What is going on guys? This is RJ Bautista, your local incredible realtor, EXP Realty. Today, I'm gonna show you the home buying process, okay? This particular video is not only about first-time home buyer, or if you are an investor as well, you might need to watch this video so you will learn how to buy a property from start to finish, okay? So this is like a basic and simple step so that if you're ready to buy your next property or your first property, you know already the process, all right? But before you start this video, if you're new to my channel, welcome, please subscribe and also the most important thing you know that smash that like button for me and share this video to all your family and friends because you know why sharing is scary without further ado let's jump into it so number one that i'm gonna tell or the first tip that i'm gonna tell you when you are planning to buy a property either is your first property or your second property or investment property all you need to do first is speak to the realtor or a real estate agent like me all right why is like that because us or me as a real estate agent i know what i am doing especially like if you are planning to buy a property in certain amount of budget and also the location and also what type of property you like to buy either apartment condominium single family multifamily, etc okay that's the important that you need to think about if you are planning to buy a property most people or most buyer do is just look at the property online and then then once they found the property, they will go to the real estate agent. Mm -mm -mm, that's wrong. Why? Because sometimes when you're looking at the property, you don't know how much that you are approved from the property that you're looking for. Okay? Which is, I will lead you to my tip number two. Okay? So once you found a realtor or a real estate agent that you would like to work with, like me, then you need to get a lender. Okay? What is lender? Then here is the lender or a bank that who can pre-approve you. Okay? Because this is important. If the bank could only afford you in certain amount of money or the loan or the mortgage loan and you are looking about property which is above of your you know mortgage or loan what will happen you won't be able to get the property right so this is most important before you looking property or the property price that you think that you can afford it and also you think that you will be approved for a loan or a mortgage okay remember this first two steps this is very crucial or before ever looking a property in your area or the property that you will like or would you like to buy okay that's most important so let's go to my tip number three so first tip once you found the realtor or real estate agent get a lender or a bank get pre-approved and then once you get pre-approved then the research or the search of the property will begin so the third tip here is once you know your number once you know where you want to live the location and number three once you know the price range what price that you would like to buy and then you can start looking with your real estate agent or realtor like me and then you can start showing or touring the property right i think that makes sense because some people do is like hey i found this property call the real estate agent and then go in the property without any pre-approval without any bank they thought like they are going to approve by this time this amount and such more and then once to go to the bank the bank said oh you only approve at this amount of money and then the property you want to buy is in this high right so you need to be equal you, you cannot be like oh i want to put more in here so you can approve me here the bank only can decide that or the lender who can only decide if you are approved for that particular money or particular mortgage loan so you need to see there that one right sounds good so that's my tip number three let's go to my tip number four so once you found a property that you like buy and then you got a pre-approval from your lender and your real estate agent or realtor like me said okay let's go for this one what i will do or we will do as a real estate professional or agent or a realtor we will make an offer okay what do you mean an offer offer to buy the property would you like buy or you know would you like to live in so this offer what will happen is as me as a real estate agent i will contact the listing agent whether this is a resale house or new construction as you know i'm specializing in new construction which is i love in new construction or i 
could do a contract for a resale house or if you don't know the resale house this is like a used house okay we can make an offer saying hey seller or hey listing agent listing agent is the one who listing the property for the seller okay some people can do for sale by owner i can talk to the seller or the owner saying hey owner or hey listing agent i would like to make an offer for this amount of amount for my client like you who's watching this video for certain amount of dollars like let's say four hundred thousand dollars this is the four hundred thousand dollars would you accept our offer okay that is my tip number four so once you made an offer let's go to my tip number five tip number five once they accept the offer this is where we can do the contract okay i will do the contract as a real estate agent and if i want to negotiate more i can do that as well which is in this particular tip which i will include it well okay what kind of negotiation i could do or for you as an agent where i can do for you is like negotiate the price okay let's say the price of the property is asking for five hundred thousand dollars only for example okay right now this month is may 2023 okay for my personal opinion for my personal preference it's a buyer's market what is the buyer's market now rj this is confusing buyer's market it means like i am able to negotiate on your behalf because you are a buyer it means you, it's your favor or it's buyer's favor to buy a property at this current market this is only for my personal opinion and not just only for my personal opinion this is my personal as well experience what i did for my recent client okay so what i could do is negotiate the price for you either you want the price to lower down which is let's say i could ask for 480,000 instead of 500,000 or we will stay for 500,000 and then i could negotiate the closing costs for you which could be between 10,000 to 15,000 dollars as long as we could give the seller or the owner for the ask price all right so if you want to know more about negotiation comment down below negotiation so i could see how many people who wants to negotiate on your behalf and i will do a separate video for that one all right so once we did that one we are on step five we did the contract and now we are under negotiation and also the contract okay so let's go to my next tip which is my tip number six is once the contract has been accepted and also the offer has also been accepted we will go into under contract so we once we are under contract this is like it means like between the seller and you have agreed to the certain amount of amount that you are going to buy and also this is where you as a buyer need put the escrow deposit which is one percent normally one percent of the price of property so let's say the price of the property is five hundred thousand dollars okay one percent of a five hundred thousand dollars five thousand dollars so you need to make or you need put the escrow deposit to the title company which is five thousand dollars so that it means that this property is reserved for you okay normally this escrow deposit or earnest money deposit will go towards to your closing which is the five thousand dollars okay so once we have this earnest money deposit what will be the next step is will be the lender's job okay which is part of your inspection well so what do you mean by this okay so once we get under contract you put your earnest money money deposit what we will do next is we will start getting all this inspection in the property we need to get the certified inspector check your property to make sure the property is good condition to make sure that there's no problem with the property because if you have a problem in the property once you paid your earnest money you will have like a certain day that you can inspect the property for example this certain amount of property let's say today we get under contract sunday normally they will give you seven days period to inspect the property so once you inspect the property within seven days let's say you inspect the property by wednesday that the third day from sunday right monday tuesday wednesday and once you get the result from the inspection and you are not happy to the inspection report what you can do is you can cancel the contract and then you will get your money back saying to the owner or seller say hey i'm not happy about this inspection because you have like a damage here i need to repair here i need to do this and do that all right and then what we could do we could cancel the contract or we could negotiate with that one instead of canceling the contract what we could do i can negotiate that one i would tell to the seller hey fix this one before we close this property or give us more closing costs or lower down the property price for instead of 480 from 500 we can ask another 10 or 20 more thousand to lower it down because of this inspection report all right i hope that makes sense that's the thing that you need to think about it okay so once you are happy in your inspection let's say it's a new construction
construction, no problem. Everything is good to go. That's why I love new construction. And then what we will do is the favorite part or not just me, for my clients as well, is the closing day. Yes, closing day. That's the last part that you need to think about because once you close the property, it means like everything goes smooth from your lender, from your inspection, from your appraisal. Everything goes smooth. It means like you have property or you are completely a homeowner. All right. So that's the video for today. And that's my personal recommendation to you. If you are planning to buy a new construction, not just a new construction, but a resale house, or if you are a first time home buyer, not just for a first time home buyer or a investor as well, or second time home buyer, all you need to do is just watch this video, take notes, and then hopefully this is helpful to you. All right. So this is the video for today. Thank you so much for watching this video from this start until the end. I know this video is too long, but you watch this video until this end comment down below home buying process so i can see how many people who wants to buy a property not just to buy a property and also who would like to work with me as a realtor if you know my area i serve central florida particularly in claremont davenport kissimmee and orlando area all right so until next time once again thank you for watching until this end and i'll talk to you soon peace What is going on guys? This is RJ Bautista. What happened to my... Here you go. It's working. I thought it's not working. But let's do it again. Part 2. <laughs>